I am in Columbus, Georgia. The uh, Chattahoochee River runs through Columbus. Interesting fact about this river and the town is the Georgia legislature in 1828 founded this town specifically on this river because it was at this point on the river where it became navigable Am I saying that word right? Navigable. Navigable. Anyway, at this point, you could take the river by boat all the way to New Orleans and international destinations beyond. So the state set up the city, planned the city specifically for that. I've moved in a little bit closer to these rapids as I continue to tell you about Columbus. Now, after the city was founded, in 1928, it became even more important during the Civil War. Columbus ranked second after Richmond, Virginia in the manufacture of supplies for the Confederate Army. And by the way, the last land battle of the Civil War happened right here in Columbus. And uh, a little side note about that. John Stith Penderton uh, was injured in that battle. This is the guy who created Coca-Cola. In the battle he was injured by a saber and as a result had chronic pain that would not go away. And in his efforts to do something about that pain, uh, he kept formulating different tonics. One of those tonics became Coca-Cola. So he created the recipe for Coca-Cola right here in Columbus and afterwards he took it to Atlanta where it was marketed there and of course Coca-Cola remains in Atlanta to this day but uh, not everyone knows that Coca-Cola the actual recipe was made right here in Columbus, Georgia. I'm walking along this river walk they have here absolutely beautiful it goes for miles and miles I think I read 15 miles see it goes way back in that direction really awesome uh, I'm showing you these rapids you know what why don't I get a little bit closer to them and then I'll tell you about them. it really is beautiful uh, I am impressed. I'm going to make my way over to these rapids that are over here. Tell you more about them as I tell you some more about the city. Now in the 1900s, as they progressed, uh, businesses and people moved out of the cities downtown and uh, by, what, I guess the 60s, 70s, the downtown was blighted, decrepit, dangerous, uh, up into the 80s. Now, in, uh, I guess, the early 2000s, the city decided to fix that. So they began a revitalization uh, effort. As a result of the revitalization efforts, uh, downtown was massively improved. Uh, what, museums, stadium, parks, lots of things were built, including this area here. Uh, this is the world's longest whitewater rafting course, and um, it has become one of the top attractions in the city. Now I'm going to swing around here and give you a little bit of a look. The weather can't decide if it's going to be good or not. When I first got on the river walk, which by the way is one of the other things that the revitalization brought. Sure is beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, when I first stepped out on the river walk, it was, we had some sun, but uh, it has since disappeared. A little bit windy. You 
probably hear some wind shear. Weather's still nice though. It's about uh, 72, 73 degrees. It's Thursday, January 12th. Uh, it's about 10 a.m. Uh, real nice weather. You're looking at Katie the cow. <laughs> One of the landmarks of the town. A symbol of the bovine industry here in Georgia. She's 20 feet tall. She used to be out on the edge of the city, but they moved here, moved her here right into downtown Columbus, which is uh, really just right over here. And uh, I thought I was going to have to go out and find her, but here she is right here on the banks of the river. Pretty fantastic. Katie the cow, there she is. Well, has the city's revitalization efforts paid off? Well, let's see. I am uh, in downtown now. I'm going to get out on foot, take a look around, and as I do, tell you some more about the city, give you the hard numbers. I'm gonna do that right now. Looking beautiful already, though. I'm out on foot on Broadway Street. Seems to be the main street of downtown. You can see for yourself. Wow, it's absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna walk around downtown a little bit, show you some more, but it's really gorgeous here. Albeit very noisy. A lot of work going on. You can see the sun's peaked out a little. Feels downright summer-like, <laughs> despite being the middle of January. I'm out here on the street because I saw a fountain here. Uh, the town is nicknamed Fountain City because of the many fountains throughout the town. It's really nice, huh? Yeah, this is absolutely beautiful. It's hard to picture this as ever being decrepit and blighted, isn't it? Every building, every storefront has a business. Virtually all of them, mom and pop businesses, unique businesses. There's the source of all that noise. In fact, he's winding down a little bit. Anyway, lots of restaurants and pubs. It is absolutely gorgeous. Who knew Columbus, Georgia look like this? Not me. I'm gonna look around some more. I'm continuing to make my way down Broadway. A little bit quieter over here. A lot of people walking around though. This is not a dead downtown. But um, you know Columbus, fellow Georgia city of Savannah is oft cited as the most or second most beautiful city in the United States. Savannah, Charleston, South Carolina, uh, a lot of the travel polls have them one, two, most beautiful towns in the U.S. But I'm telling you now, Columbus rivals both those towns. Really impressive how nice this town is, at least the downtown. Anyway, uh, how about some statistics? 2021 estimates, population of Columbus, 206,900 people. So it's a pretty good sized town. Metro area is 328,900. Uh, in terms of city population, Columbus is the second biggest in Georgia. Uh, metro population though, it is fourth. Atlanta is first, of course. Augusta second, Savannah third, Columbus springs up or is in fourth place, Metro. Per capita income, 28,500. Median household income is 50,500. Uh, the US median as a whole, the country, is 78,000. So it's definitely a lower income. 
lower incomes here, but I was reading that the cost of living in this town is close to 30% lower than the rest of the country. And uh, that bears that out as far as home values. Median home value here is 171, 171,600. Of course, the US median is 428,000. It's giving you some sights here. Uh, now, when I was down at the river earlier in the video, that is directly right there. I mean, a couple minutes walking away. So right there. Anyway, poverty level is 19.5% which is a tad high. U.S. average 11.6. And the age here is, the median age here is 36 years old. So here, let me uh, come up and give you a nice look at this. Yeah. Woo. This is a noisy town. Anyway. Yeah, I'm going to go look around a little bit more. Uh, I was looking at the top employers. Fort Benning military base is right here in town or near town. By far the largest employer. 39,000 people. The rest of the top 10 is uh, mostly city government, education, health care. But uh, let's see, Columbia State University is number 9. And Pratt & Whitney is number 10. Now Pratt & Whitney is one of the three top aircraft engine manufacturers in the world. That's a cool building but it looks like it's boarded up. I hate seeing that right there. Well if there's one thing you're going to see in the deep south it's impressive churches. This is the first Presbyterian church. It's right here in downtown Columbus. Look at that uh, tower the clock. That's gorgeous. Built in 1862, if my information is correct. Let me come out here and give you a little bit better look at the front of it. Yeah, this is a gorgeous building. Religious or not, you got to admire some of the architecture of these buildings. It's beautiful. Look at this beautiful building here. It says it was built in 1889. Look at all that stonework at the top. Man, I love stuff like that. Uh, the original very best donuts since 1954. Seems to be a landmark of sorts. And I'm in the mood for donuts. I'm gonna get me some. Checking out their wares. Looks delicious, don't they? I'm getting some fruity pebbles donuts another shot of the beautiful downtown but um, I was gonna say I saw a Irish pub and here it is right here I think I'm gonna have myself a well-deserved Guinness stout if it's Irish they got to have Guinness am I right I think I'm right cool I even got a Guinness glass it's a pretty nice looking place quiet for 12 noon on a Thursday I'm thinking but uh, if I was to guess a lot of the state is still has a hangover from Georgia winning a national title uh, nice place though really nice I like it five bucks five bucks for a pint of Guinness that's gonna cost 12 bucks in Dallas so yeah she's getting a hundred percent tip there's the donut shop I was just at uh, it started raining, so I had to jump in the car. Um, and anyway, check out these uh, Fruity Pebbles coated donuts I got. Look good, don't they? They will be dessert tonight. The rain has started to fall here in Columbus, Georgia, but it's not going to stop me from showing you this. This is the Church of the Holy Family, built in 1880. It is on the National Register. Wow, how beautiful is this? Uh, I'm gonna I'll walk around here a bit and give you a look. We got a placard here. Church of the Holy Family. 
parish relocated to this site when a new church was dedicated, May 12, 1880. Name changed to the Church of the Holy Family. Wow. So the uh, church was built on property given by the Sisters of Mercy. Interesting. Only downtown church with a grave located on its grounds. So there you go. Uh, here, let me give you another look. It is uh, pretty spectacular looking. I wonder if I can go inside. Take a quick look. What do you think? Should I give it a whirl? Why not? Let's see if the doors are locked. Grand doors? No. Well, this one's not locked. So far, so good. Uh, there's uh, Yeah, if you can see in there. Services are uh, being conducted, so I'm not going to go in and bother them. Anyway, God, it just smells old in here. The beautiful uh, glass a little peak but just a little peak beautiful church all right well I'm not gonna bother these people so I'm leaving I uh, walked outside the church and this is this a home that's been converted I don't know it's across the street and it says oh oh this town is so noisy <laughs> Uh, anyway, it says it's uh, Trees Columbus, Coalition for Sound Growth, Nature Con Conservancy. Wow, it's a beautiful building. Look at this. You can tell it's really old. Hmm. I don't know if I'm allowed to walk in there. I don't want to trespass. Uh, but what a... Wow, what a building. Looks like I could use a bit of a touch up on the paint, but it is impressive to look at. Uh, I'm on the edge of downtown here. Uh, you see the homes. Wow. Really beautiful. This is part of a historic district, I think. Uh, and these homes are, uh, Astonishing. Gorgeous. Ooh, look at this weather though. It's getting ugly. Anyway, uh, yeah, look at this one. Wow. Love that woodwork. Yeah, that is... That is beautiful. Let me slow down a little. How about that? Unbelievable. Man, it's coming down. Well, let's see. I'm driving a few blocks out of downtown. Oh, wow. Look at all this trash. Oh, I hate to see that. Such a beautiful town. Anyway, I'm uh, just kind of heading into some neighborhoods. Attempting to. Still kind of in the city, though. Look at that, the sun. The sun is trying to come out. Uh, I'm just kind of roaming around the town. And, I mean, wow. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this house right here. Holy cow. That, that's just somebody's house. That is, that is a mansion. Huh, I'm like maybe a mile or two out of downtown. Wow, incredible. I'm a couple miles out of downtown and then I just come upon this building here, Aflac building. This would be the tallest building in downtown if that's where it was, but it's not. It's out here, kind of out of, well, a couple miles out of downtown, a few blocks. Anyway, that's, uh, yeah, I find that interesting. Bethlehem Lutheran Church. Just taking a quick look at it because it's a very interesting architecture. It's 
kind of 70-ish, isn't it? Yeah, I really like that. That's cool. I think I saw some shotgun houses here, but before I got to them, you can see that uh, phone booth there. Sun might be in the way, but yeah, I got a couple of uh, shotgun houses. Very old. I always love seeing shotgun houses, though. To me, they're really interesting. Yeah, there's another one there. An actual shotgun house up on bricks. That's pretty cool. Not always easy to find those. And uh, right up the street, I guess that's a church. Oh, it says it's for sale. It's got a cross on it. Huh. Maybe it used to be a church. Interesting. Anyway, I'm still just looking around. Uh, I think I saw some more shotgun houses up here. I'm gonna get a shot, uh, video of those real quick. Yeah, I got a couple more here. A little shotgun house there. It's empty. Uh, it was something in its day, though. I just love them, man. I don't know why. <laughs> got several here. Uh, this one is occupied, looks like. Got a dog protecting it. Pretty cool. Look at this impressive looking structure. Looks to me like a government building, but it's not. It's a church. The First Baptist Church. And from what I understand, it was built in 1859. Impressive looking structure. But uh, it doesn't look like a church to me. Am I wrong? Uh, like this building down here. That looks like a church. But this doesn't. It's still beautiful though. Anyway, uh, that's going to be the end of this video. Uh, normally I pick up the wife now. But... Um, you know, and then we do some stuff, but she's not feeling well, so I'm going to give her the day off. But she'll be in the next city video, uh, Augusta, Augusta, Georgia. Meanwhile, uh, the next video coming up will be me touring some small towns here in Georgia. So, uh, be looking for that. See you then.